What is up guys, it is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the Axolotl tank. So you can see Mochi here, I've had him since May of last year. So I've had him for like a good, I don't know, nine months now maybe? Yeah, like maybe nine months. But he has been in this tank all by himself for that entire time. This is a 15 gallon tank. And so now that the tank is like really established, I'm really comfortable with taking care of Mochi. I decided that it was time to get him some friends. And so today I was at the fish store, just kind of looking around, picking up some supplies. And I made the mistake of going into the fish section and I saw that they had some feeders there. They had white cloud minnows as some feeders. They looked actually very, very healthy. Um, and they were just small. And so I just picked up a couple to put here with Mochi. So you can see these guys have been acclimated actually in the water for a bit, but we have some white clouds. I actually asked the guy to give me six, but he gave me eight, and I only paid for six, so I guess that's fine. But we have eight little tiny white clouds here, and so we are gonna go ahead and put these into the tank. They've already been acclimating into the water, and I'm really crossing my fingers that Mochi doesn't eat him. Now, I've done some research on like tank mates for axolotls, and I've talked to a couple people who have kept axolotls and they've had success with keeping fish with the axolotl without them like nipping gills or the fish actually eating them. So I don't know, I figure we'll try it out. Um, and if not, then I guess it just won't work. But I'm just, the biggest thing I'm concerned about is the fish nibbling on the axolotl's gills. But I'll just make sure that I'm feeding them well so that hopefully that won't happen and that they won't bother each other. But we'll just have to see. And you can see Kusan is totally interested in this. I mean like dude, these aren't gonna be your friends. You can say hi to the fish. Oh my gosh, why are you getting so excited? Okay, anyways, so we're just gonna pour these guys through the net and catch the fish in here so that none of the tank water from the fish store will actually be going into my tank. Just the fish. And some of you might be wondering why I'm not quarantining these. Um, and that's just because I kind of trust the fish store that I got them from. And because these are gonna be the first fish that are added to this tank, it's just the axolotl. Um, I mean, that might kind of be a little bit risky, but I really don't think that the, ac that the fish will be able to get the axolotl sick. Um, and so that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, so let's take off this rubber band. This might, this might be kind of hard because I'm never good with rubber bands, but. 12 seconds later. Oh, there we go. All right, so we'll pour this through the net after I get it open. All right. I don't want this net to fall into the bucket. I probably should have picked the bigger one, but this is going to work. Make sure nobody got left in the bag. Okay, so now we've got these eight little white clouds. Let's go ahead and put them into the tank. Is that all of them? Should be eight. Okay, well, there they go. Um, I'm not sure how well these guys will do in here. Sorry, it's kind of dark. I don't like to keep that light on in the axolotl tank for very long, but we'll see how it goes. You can see Mr. Mochi there. He ate yesterday, so he should have a full belly. You can see most of the white clouds have already disappeared. There's one of them. Oh my gosh, they're so small, you can't even see them. But anyways, as you saw when I was adding them to the tank, they are quite small for white clouds, so I'm hoping that I can kind of just grow them out. Um, but we'll see how they do in here. Hopefully they'll grow a bit bigger. I mean, white clouds don't get that big, but the cool thing about these fish is that they're actually cold water tolerant, so they'll be fine with the axolotl, um, but we'll see how they do. Hopefully they will last pretty long in there. I'm pretty excited. Um, so yeah, that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. And yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.